we still got loads more jets. Uh, we've got fuel cars coming out again. Uh, so they have to keep it to the right amount. Here we go then. Colin Miller. Banshee take it on the flying Pfeiffer. Both these two cars in the sevens. One of them is oh so close to the sixes. I still think Colin's best is a 704, and that's when the cam broke, wasn't it? However, lots of winter upgrades. Uh, new axle, new four link, bigger wheelie bars, different parachute mountings, all sorts of stuff. So if Colin gets off the start line with no tyre shake, he may well get that magic number. There's only one car in Europe that's run a six, and that's Jed Guy, who's down there on the start line helping Colin. Just to show you how uh, close and friendly they are as a bunch. Well, Jed's been responsible for a lot of the falling setup and all the upgrades that have uh, gone through on that car. And it's Jed actually taking the tyre temperature before he goes into stage two. So, Mick Taylor has been 7.95, Colin Miller has been 7.05. That's a lot of tyre shake. He's getting quite expert at pedalling, though, Colin, this time round, isn't he? 7.15 at 1.91, still a lovely strong run. He's got a good race car, but still the launch. 7.79 for Mick Taylor at 1.72, that's one of his best runs ever.